Hey everyone, welcome to Weld.com. I'm Man Cup. Today we got a new machine in the shop. We're going to break it open and tell you our likes and dislikes, and we're going to run out 110 and 220. Let's get into it, guys. All right, we got the Thermodynamics uh, Cutmaster 40 unpacked. It's a pretty nice machine, pretty robust and light. You can lift it up with a hook, it's saying right here. It goes from 15 amps to uh, 40 amps. It's a pretty quick and easy plug in, and you're basically ready to go. 110 and 220 hook up right here. Your commercial 120 amp, 20 amp style plug in right here with that side prong. Then you got your regular 110 residential that you plug in. Uh, first, we're gonna run this on 110. We're gonna see what we could cut from thin to thick, uh, from ferrous to non-ferrous metal. So we're gonna go ahead and dig into that first. All right, so let's go ahead and, and jump on that. The first thing I noticed is when I plugged this into 110, uh, the machine backed me down to 27 amps was my max. So I can't go no higher than 27 and no lower than 15. So first we're gonna go ahead and cut quarter inch material. I found some rusty material right here, it's pretty rusty. So we're just gonna go slice a couple uh, pieces off, see how it's gonna cut. If it's nice clean cut, the piece will drop off. Then we're gonna go ahead and make some pierces, a couple pierces, all right? It's saying in the directions it says stay away eighth inch to three eighths in the base metal. I'm gonna stay close as I can without touching. I'm just gonna to try to follow my white line right there I drew. Remember guys, we're cutting through this rusty metal. You can see it's flaking off this metal. I mean flaking off the rust. You can see the sparks shooting through the bottom of the plate. That means we're cutting right through the plate pretty easily. When we get to this end, the plate should drop right off. The ragged edges, that's all for me from shaking. <laughs> so, don't mind that. So we just cut quarter inch. Uh, we had no problem cutting through quarter inch. We made a couple good clean cuts. Uh, the plate even fell off, the scrap. Remember this was rusty, so that's gonna take more amps to get cut through that rusted metal. First thing I noticed, is you gotta stay get close to the plate, real close with this uh, tip right here. Because if you pull the trigger and you try to move forward and you're far away, it wanna cut off on you. So you, you wanna be about eighth inch or less away from the plate, edge of the plate. Let's see if this bad boy will pierce on quarter inch plate. So I'm just gonna pierce right here in the middle of that circle and work my way out and just crawl around and circle and let that piece drop out. You guys can see it pierced, it pierced through it and we drew a circle and did a cut. So. So yes, the machine could cut on 110 at 27 amps on quarter inch plate. So the next one is we're gonna cut on quarter inch aluminum 6061. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing, pierce and run a little straight cut. And we're gonna see if it could do that on aluminum. Bingo, that's it. We cut through the 6061 quarter inch aluminum. We had uh, pretty much no problem. We just had to move a little bit slower. Remember this is 110 guys, we're not on 220. So we're just showing the capabilities of 110 off. We know it will cut carbon steel and we know it will cut aluminum quarter inch. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do a pierce cut. All right, we got no problem through this. It's the quarter inch aluminum. Uh, there's our pierce and we did a hole, so no problem when there's our cut. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, move up to 3 8 carbon steel, but we're gonna still stay on 110, all right? We're not going 220, guys, stay on 110, all right? So let's go ahead and do that and see what it could do. All right, here's our 3 8 carbon steel plate. We're gonna go ahead and cut a little corner off this. All right, so we just got done uh, basically severing a piece of 3 8 carbon steel plate. Um, I had to move a little slow with it and just let the, um, Molten metal kind of wash out and wash, wash down, and you just gotta keep staying nice and slow with it. But it, it did it, remember guys, it's on 110, but I guarantee you on 220, it's gonna like just fly through that thing with no problem, uh, like butter. It'll just cut like butter. So remember guys, this is 110 what we're doing this on. All right, let's go uh, plug 220 in, and let's go fly through this other cut on 3 8 I got the machine plugged in 208 single phase. That's what our voltage we have. The machines go from 200 to 240 single phase. Um, so we're running at 208. We're going to go ahead and cut this 3 8 material 
I guarantee it'll blaze right through it, no problem. So let's go do this. All right, I'm free handing this guy, so don't be so hard on me. Look at that, that's money. What the heck I'm talking about, it was good. That was fast, I liked it. That was my comfortable speed normally I run. Um, you could tell it's cut, no problem. No dross, it just dropped right off. When I was cutting this, I was thinking speed. I was cutting real fast, I liked it. This is 3 8 material carbon steel. We're gonna go ahead and play around, have some fun with uh, one inch. We're gonna see if this machine will cut one inch on 208 volts, single phase. So let's go try it. Guys, remember this is a 40 amp machine. We're cutting one inch. Steel through here, carbon steel, A36 steel plate. We basically severed it. We're gonna move on to this. We're gonna jump over here on 3 8 carbon steel plate, but we're gonna switch it to gouging. We're gonna change out the consumables and we're gonna go ahead and gouge this. I basically took two pieces of plate, slammed them together, and we basically don't have no penetration right here. We're just gonna gouge this out. All right, I'm just gonna chip this right away. This should come right off. Yep, come right off. Uh, basically, so I'm still getting used to the machine. Uh, basically, it lit up here and basically went straight, doing good. Then I noticed I was going off my line, so I went back and kind of went like that. But we gouged. I mean, if you look at it, it's pretty, pretty good, clean. Uh, the mach machine was running consistent. I'm human. I wasn't running consistent, but uh, it definitely gouged really good. Didn't have no problems with it. If we wanted to, we could go ahead and put a weld on that. Uh, stick tig or mig so gouging i was pretty impressed with it there you guys have it that's a cut master 40 amps uh, i was pretty impressed we cut one inch material a couple things i like about it and I, there's a couple things i recommend uh first thing i like it's light portable you don't have to have a little dolly carry around or anything you don't have to break your back second is you don't have to have all these buttons up here or anything uh, you basically plug and play and you got one knob turn it down for 15 amps to 40 amps a couple things i recommend is getting a little air dryer uh, the air dryer basically uh, makes your consumables last longer. It takes a lot of your moisture out. And another thing, uh, rip this little part list out of here and tape it into here. So if you're not, if you don't know plasma or don't know these consumables, uh, tape them in here, and this will keep you kind of organized how to put it together. And the part numbers are there, so you can reorder. Also, this came with this shade three and shade five, so you guys don't have to go and uh, go buy one or cut with your safety glasses, and you don't hurt your eyes. So, uh, yeah, I really like this machine. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you, uh, everything you guys do, your support. Stay tuned to Monday, Monday and Fridays. I appreciate it. Uh, learning is key, guys. See you next time.